late singer Maun Ko Saki launches a crowdfunding campaign for her documentary film, Hideki Kamiya has left Platinum Games, the 2023 Tokyo Game Show announces the number of attendees, how he Susumiya reveals the details about the new light novel, High Card is getting its stage play adaptation, and the latest news on any song artists including Sumire Oesaka posted a full music video for Tinemon Empire and Spy Family announced the theme songs ahead of the second season. And next year's anime titles including Sin Duality Noir announces the theme date for the second core and the fifth season of Kingdom announces new cast members of the Kanki Army and the rookie Middle Age Adventurer is getting an anime adaptation. What's up, this is Jeff and this is your anime news source. This is Anime Minutes. Art One Entertainment announced that the company is launching a crowdfunding campaign for singer Mount Kosaki to the Ubugoi crowdfunding service on Saturday, September 30th. The title of the crowdfunding campaign is Mount Kosaki the Movie, Even If You Were Me That Day, and it is a documentary film focusing on her live performance in the fall of 2021 to the Revival Live concert in July 2022. The documentary film is expected to release in spring 2023, but the production was halted due to the singer's passing and the budget had run out. The crowdfunding project aims to reach $47,200 and complete the film's production by Sunday, November 26, before it will screen in Tokyo on January 9 to 10th of 2024. If the crowdfunding campaign is successful in reaching its goal, more theaters and areas will be added. Mount Kosaki was born in Tokyo on January 13, 1988. She performed any songs such as the Gusara and Index franchise along with Axel World, Sakura no Shana, Tokyo Ravens, Strike the Blood, and Reincarnated as a Sword before she passed away at the age of 35 on February 16th of 2023 after she was diagnosed with epidural hematoma which occurs when blood accumulates between the skull and the dura mater, the thick membrane covering the brain in 2021. The official website of Platinum Games announced that video game designer, director, and vice president of the company, Hideki Kamiya, is leaving the company on Thursday, October 12th. According to the company's website, he will be leaving the company coming next month. This came after a lot of consideration based on his own beliefs and was by no means an easy decision to make. Kamiya began his career as a video game designer in 1994 where he directed Capcom video game projects such as Resident Evil 2 in 1998, Devil May Cry in 2001, Beautiful Joe in 2003, and Okami in 2006. He is also working at Clover Studio where the company was a Capcom subsidiary before he left the company in 2006. After leaving Capcom, Kamiya and other former staff members founded Platinum Games in 2006 where he produced Bayonetta in 2009 and the wonderful 101 in 2013 before he became the vice president of the company in 2017. The organizers of the Tokyo Game Show announced the number of attendees for the 27th edition of the event and the total number of attendees is at 243,238 attendees over the course of four days since the event started last Thursday, September 21st to Sunday, September 24th. On the first day, the biggest number of attendees for the event is at 96,033 attendees, followed by the second day is at 77,390 attendees, the third day is at 33,700 attendees, and the fourth and final day is at 36,100 attendees. The number of attendees is one step closer to breaking the attendance record at 262,000 attendees in 2019. The record for the most number of attendees is the 2018 event where the number of attendees held at 290,690 attendees. This year's Tokyo Game Show features 787 companies and organizations from 44 countries and regions exhibiting their latest products. The 28th edition will return at the Makohari Messe on Thursday, September 26th to Sunday, September 29th of 2024. The official website of Nagaru Tanigawa and Noisy Ito's Haohi Susumiya announced the details about the upcoming The Theater of Haohi Susumiya at the recently concluded Kadokawa Sneaker Bunko's 35th anniversary event held last Sunday. The Theater of Haohi Susumiya will have three isekai short stories and the series came from the August 2004 issue of Kadokawa's The Sneaker Magazine and the follow-up that came from the June 2006 issue of the magazine. The story sends on the SOS Brigade led by Haohi Susumiya and Kion as they are transported to a fantasy world. The new volume will add a new sequel short story of the earlier stories. The original story follows a high school boy Kion 
who encounters an erratic girl, Haohi Susumiya, who is unaware that she possesses unconscious abilities that can alter the very universe, and gets dragged into joining her SOS brigade, also consisting of an alien, a time traveler, and an esper. The official website of TMS Entertainment's High Card and also the details including the cast, staff, and visuals for the upcoming stage play adaptation titled High Card the Stage Crack a Hand where the play runs at the Theater 1010 in Tokyo on January 19 to the 29th of 2024. The cast for the stage play is Ryotao Akasawa as Finn Oldman, the newest member of High Card and a skilled pickpocket with great eyesight and focus allowing him to think multiple steps ahead. And how Kikiyama as Chris Redgrave, a flirty womanizer and a skilled driver with a sweet tooth. Ike Yamamoto is directing together with Hideyuki Nishimori is writing, Tadusuke is a music composer, and TMS Entertainment, Omoa Kawamoto and Hikao Muno are supervisors for the stage play. Based on the mixed media franchise where the franchise was adapted into two seasons of the animated series, including the upcoming second season to be streamed on Crunchyroll in January 2024 after the airing of the first season that aired in January 2023. The official YouTube channel of singer and voice actress Sumire Oesaka posted a full music video of Happy End Princess, also known as Princess Happy Ending, where the song served as the opening theme song of Nosumu Mochitsuki and Glisses Tiramun Empire, and she is lending the voice of Mia Luna Tiramun where the animated series streams on Crunchyroll on Sunday, October 8. The music video is filled with the worldview of the animated series and humorously depicts a servant who dreams of becoming a princess and altering her own destiny. The song is provided by singer and songwriter Masayoshi Oishi. Her digital single is available now since the song was released on Sunday, September 24th, and her physical single is set to release as her 14th single to be released on Wednesday, October 18th. The anime the series centers on Princess Mia Luna Moon, a 20-year-old princess who was scored as a selfish princess and sentenced to be executed through guillotine. Instead of dying, she awakens to find herself back in her 12-year-old body. Pleading to avoid the execution at all costs, she decides to rebuild the empire. The official website of Tatsuya Endo's Spy Family announced the theme songs for the upcoming second season of the animated series that streams on Crunchyroll on Saturday, October 7. Ado will perform the opening theme song Lightheaded, Ed Bondi and American guitarist Koi Wong are performing the ending theme song The Final Blow. The cast from the first season of the animated series that aired for two coins in April and October 2022 is returning their roles for the new season, including Takoya Eguchi as Lloyd Forger, Saori Hayami as Yor Forger, Atsumi Tanesaki as Anya Forger, and Kinichiro Matsuda as Bon Forger as the family must strive to keep together. Kazuhiro Furuhashi is once again directing for the new season at the Animation Studios with Studio and Cloverworks together with Ichio Okuchi is writing the scripts and no name is producing the music. The official YouTube channel of Emotion released the trailer of Bandai Namco Entertainment's Thin Duality Noir and announced the release date for the upcoming second core that streams on Disney Plus in January 2024. The anime series was announced at the recently concluded Tokyo Game Show event last weekend together with the upcoming video game, and the story takes place 20 years after the events of the video game and the first core of the animated series. The cast from the first core of the anime series that aired in July 2023 is returning, including Takeo Otsuka as Kanata, a young mechanic and drifter, and Aoi Koga as Nor, a magus who has awakened from a long sleep and has lost her past memories. Kanata and Nor must uncover the tears of the new moon where the event wiped out most of humanity and humanity fled underground and built bunker cities to survive. The official website of Yasuhisa Haka's Kingdom and answer the details including new cast members and the stream date for the upcoming 5th season that streams on Crunchyroll on Saturday, January 6th of 2024. The cast of the previous seasons of the anime series including the members of the Kanki Army is returning including Kentaro Ito as Tan Ki, the fifth member of the new generation 6th grade generals of Kin, and the former bandit leader with a penchant for decapitation which earned him the Behider. Aoka Nagamine as Koku O, the leader of the Koku O clan and the 5,000 man commander, had a cool personality delighting in pain and suffering. Kenji Nomura as Raido, a former bandit from Kin and the leader of the Waido clan who is very attached to Kan Ki. 
Ed Motokisa Kuma as Pangaron, the advisor and commander of the 5,000-man Kanki Oimi, is a well-spoken and polite man, despite his background as a former bandit, often speaking in a respectful tone, unlike the rest of his comrades. Dale joined the cast from the previous four seasons of the animated series, is returning their roles for the new season. The official website of Kiraku Kishima and T's The Wookiee Middle Age Adventurer Was Trained to Death by the Most Powerful Party to Become Invincible announced that the anime adaptation has been in the works and revealed the details including the cast, staff, and stream date that is coming in 2024. The cast for the animated series is Takuya Sato as Rick Gladiator, a novice adventurer who wanted to become an adventurer after he left his job as a guild clerk at the age of 30. He joined the Ori Kankum Fist Party as he already lived an unimaginable life with top-ranking fighting abilities. Saori Onishi as Rayanet Elfi, a legendary fighter elf who achieved 9,000 victories in the underground fights, and she becomes a housemaid. Kenta Miyake as Bogstone Ashford, a royal oik who leads the Ori Kankum Fist and Weeks mentor. Despite his tall and strength, he is good at supporting magic. Toshiyuki Toyonaga as Misset Eldwarf, a 50-year-old half-elf and half-dwarf who continues to single-handedly develop weapons that would be impossible to create with the world's science and technology, and she loves women. Ed Misaki Kuno as Alisaret Dracul, a vampire girl and the strongest attack magician on the continent. Shin Katagai is directing the anime at the anime studio Yometa Company, together with Kasumi Tsuchida is a series composition, Mari Eguchi is a character designer, Tomotaka Osumi is a music composer, and Toshiki Kamiyama is the sound director. The series was published in Let's Become Novelist and Kakuyomu in June 2018, and Hobby Japan's HJ Novels published the series where Kishima is writing and T is illustrating in December 2018 and released in 12 book volumes. It was adapted into a magazine drawn by Ken Ogino in Hobby Japan's Comic Fire magazine in November 2019 and released in 7 book volumes. If you have comments or suggestions, you can follow on my official Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash news and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash giveaboy. Well, that's about it for Anime List Today is September 26, 2023. This is Jeff, and this is Anime Minutes.